楽しかった。Hey guys, 皆さんこんにちは。キミシャンネルのオデッタです。Today I'm out with NHK filming a show about this city of Tsuruga. It turns out there's a 75 year old story that connects Eastern Europe to this place in Japan. <laughs> the story about the past and present of Tsuruga will be airing on TV soon, but in the meantime, for today, you guys are coming with me. So, on the west side of Japan, and just a little north of Kyoto, you'll find this port city named Tsuruga. So, the story is that over 75 years ago, there was a Japanese diplomat who began issuing transit visas to Jewish refugees, saving thousands of people on their way out of Europe. And now, Tsuruga is getting ready for a whole new project with a different kind of traveler. So, I'm here to eat the food, meet the people, and check it out. Tsuruga! Eki! Ride the bikes. Hopefully, my skirt stays in place. Right? <laughs> yeah. Let's go, guys! We just finished riding our bikes to the first part of the city. Who knows where we're going next? Riding a bike is pretty fun. I think my hair is. I can see an extra person. We made it here to a fish market that's right by the ocean, like 10 steps away. And you can see behind us my friend Afif. And we're gonna actually pick some out and then see if we can taste some delicious, fresh, fresh, fresh <laughs> flavors. I'm so excited to eat. Ah! <laughs> Let's go eat some fish. Yeah. Hi, I'm Yuko. <laughs> this is Yuko and her lovely family. It's five generations. They have five generations here who are selling all the delicious fish back here. And she even speaks English. She studied in America on the West Coast in Seattle. Seattle and Missouri. Seattle and Missouri. Ah, yeah. Amazing English. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat. Let's go check it out. Fresh. So fresh. Yeah, they, they made a special nizuke, is like a uh, kind of like a broiled fish, and they made it specially for him so that it was like halal friendly with no meat. But it's really nice. They like, you just bring the fish straight from the market and they'll make anything for you. They're so nice here. Wow. Wow. You can really taste the sweetness of these soy sauce. And the freshness of the fish was really surprising. It is too delicious. Exactly. Just believe me. <laughs> I'm we really glad you came to the Suruga. Right? He like just picked this one. So fresh. Yeah. That's a going bike. Oh, the most beautiful road. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. This cute shop. Yes. Okay. Oh, Josie, not bad. 
Eh, mo 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 oh my god, they left me. They left me. I'm alone in a skirt on a bike. Oh, there they are. I don't know if you can see this here. This is kombu. Like, they use kelp to make soup a lot in Japan. But look at this, like, really thin kombu. It's like a ribbon. Like, tie my hair up with this. So apparently Tsuruba is famous for its kombu kelp and they can make it like really thin like this so that you can eat it like with a rice ball or like as a topping but it's like so like light and delicate you just watch it like float away oh. すいませんその鶴田で職人さんとして働いてる水もう一度教えてもらえますかあ鶴田の職人全体でええ七八十人ね百人ね少ししたわなんか気持ちいいなと思って気持ちいいかワークマンの時次買うかなこういうのこれが
I think I came to love it too a bit. So I hope you enjoyed the adventures in Suruga, Kukui Prefecture. I have to come back again soon. Perhaps they're in season in November, I heard. We'll have to come back then. Funny, funny. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.